do the old Rocky Rocky. Rocky Rocky. Oh, that's starting to get a bit leery. Yeah, that's burnt my foot. Cool. Oh, that is not acceptable. I don't know why I'm talking French when I'm cooking an Italian dish in England. I'm annoying, at least. Part one in a quick pasta series. I'm gonna make aglio e olio. It sounds made up, but it's real. Aglio e olio. Aglio e olio. I'll put the name up, probably. Here, yeah, wish. Um, you've seen the film Chef with John Favreau. This is what he cooks for um, Scarlett Johansson. It's absolutely amazing, and it's literally just garlic, aglio, and olive oil. Olio, obviously, with pasta a load of parsley and some lemon. The lemon juice isn't particularly necessary or maybe not even traditional, but it brightens the whole dish up and salt for cooking of pasta. Uh, traditionally, or I keep saying traditionally, it's not tradition, but this goes best with stringy sort of pastas. Spaghetti is the main one they would normally go with. I'm using linguine because I have linguine. While we're waiting for our water to boil, so this can be very, very quick. You really want one fat clove of garlic per person. I'm cooking for one, because this isn't the sort of pasta dish that you can reheat later. Oh. So one fat clove of garlic per person, uh, but you can put more garlic in if you like garlic, and I love garlic, so I'm putting in more garlic. You can do this really quickly by just crushing the garlic um, or just hacking the crap out of it with a knife. Uh, you don't have to do it fancy fancy. The real way of doing it, let's say the real way, the the way it's done is really thin slivers of garlic. Um, as thin as you can get them. Um, if you've got a mandolin, you can go nuts on the mandolin, but watch your fingers. But you don't have to do it like that. Uh, you can just chop it the crap out of it, mince it all up, rock, rock it back and do the old Rocky Rocky. Rocky Rocky. Like I said, you can use a garlic crusher. I don't think the Italians would care too much. So yeah, if you want to take your time and practice your knife skills and just slowly go through and mince up, oh not mince up, really thinly slice the garlic. The way you cut garlic does change the flavour of the garlic. You know, it's like learn with Dan, the learn with Dan section. So in garlic is two chemicals. Can't remember what either of them are called. Um, as you break down the garlic, the two chemicals have a chemical reaction with each other. And the, that chemical reaction is what produces the garlicky flavour. So that's why if you roast a garlic a clove of garlic whole, slowly, it actually never doesn't, it ends up really, really sweet. It's like um, the end point of that chemical reaction is a really sweet, I think it's sweeter than honey. Um, flavor, taste, um, a compound that's very sweet. So the thinner you slice it and crush it, the more that reaction takes place. So the more garlicky something tastes, obviously, when you put the garlic into the dish also matters. The later on, the less cooked it is, the more raw and strong the flavour of the garlic is. But yeah, if you want, take your time and enjoy pretending you're an actual chef and getting really fancy with slicing garlic super thin or hack the crap out of it. Also, if you uh, kind of you slice down like that, or another way of getting a really thin slice is if you keep the angle of the knife the same and slice it back, pull back, kind of like a, um, you know, the old guillotines for slicing paper. And that way you can get a really thin slice. Well, it's not one, not though. 
Right, so now what we're going to do is while our pasta's coming up, put our pan on. Any pan, um, I probably wouldn't, you don't need non stick because you're going to be cooking it in oil. Don't go too hot. You're going to need a fair amount of oil. So you're going to want to cover the bottom of the pan easily and then come up a little bit as well. You can whack that temperature up really high and whack and fry the bejesus out of the oil if you uh, the garlic if you want or take your time so what you're looking for is to just slowly toast the garlic in the oil so it goes to a nice brown color the other thing we're gonna need those bit on there uh where do I put my knife parsley so if you get a nice handful of parsley extra bits Hold it up. And that is everything prepped. Obviously we're still waiting for the pasta to cook. The pasta to cook. The water to boil for the pasta. This is one of those dishes where we're going to use the pasta water to help make the sauce. The sauce essentially is going to be an emulsification of the garlic oil and the starchy pasta water. And the only other thing worth doing ahead of time is on the top and towel with lemon, but you don't have to. Down the middle, nice quarter of a lemon. Most of the seasoning for this is going to happen with the pasta water. I'm not going to put any salt anywhere else. So, you should always be salting your pasta water anyway, but if you're not, if you're not, do it, but especially for this dish. So, the pasta water is boiling. We have the requisite amount of linguine. That's hot. Beautiful it. In with that. I'm gonna get some tongs. They're a bit big. I can't. Let me smell the tongs. There they are. Right. So now our time limit starts because when that pasta's cooked, the pasta's cooked. This is a good pasta dish and it scales quite well. Unlike carbonara or cacio e pepe, which can be a bit hard to pull off for more than two to four people. This, on the other hand, um, as long as you've got a pan big enough to shallow fry the requisite amount of garlic in the requisite amount of oil, a pot big enough for the requisite amount of spaghetti, whatever, Bob's your uncle. So now, it's essentially making sure that this, your garlic, is brown and toasted in time for that to be cooked. Which, what I generally say is, if you're using the packet stuff, they know what they're talking about. See, eight to 10 minutes. They've had to test that time and time again in our lab. It's gonna be eight to 10 minutes, but you want it undercooked, al dente. You've, I'm sure you've heard that before. Toothsome, it means it's got a bit of bite, it's not just soft. So I'm gonna cook that more for like in the six to seven minutes I mind. What I'm actually gonna do though, if I'm honest, is just, do it by eye, because I've done it enough times that I know what it's going to need to look like. Keep an eye, go slow and slow with the garlic, especially if you've got your pasta to cook, because you don't, there's nothing worse than burnt oil. Uh, burnt oil? Burnt oil isn't very good actually, to be fair, but uh, burnt garlic. Well, you can see the garlic starting to go a bit nice, a bit brown, a bit blondy, ever so slightly toasted. Check on our linguine. There we are. Nah, that's go for a while. Don't be afraid if you need to, turn one or cover off. Well, you're probably not gonna to want to turn the pasta off, but if the garlic is starting to get where you need it to be, feel free to turn it off. There'll be enough heat left over this to warm that back up if this is, goes cold. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say you could do that in advance and fridge it, because it kind of loses a bit of the magic. But uh, 
yeah, you don't need to have it everything come together exactly at the same time. So if you don't know what you're looking for, so you see that's a lot more floppy than it was a minute ago. You give it a break. See in the middle is a little white dot. You give it a bite, taste it. You want a little bit of bite, that's too much. I'm not talking about a mouthful. It, sh it shouldn't be raw inside, but it should be a bit firmer inside. Uh, linguine is done. Uh, if you've got linguine, if you've got linguine spoon, this is a spaghetti spoon, but uh, if you've got one, kind of handy. Drain it a bit. Wait a minute, it's gonna sizzle. Um, so the tongs. You're throwing water into hot oil, so it's gonna sizzle like a mother uh, like a like a mother uh, like a mofo. You get all that out. Uh, you can drain this if you want, but we want the water, so save the water. So I've got the cup. I'm gonna add a splash more of that in there, and we are going to. Uh, to combine essentially it's gonna finish cooking in here and get creamy well not creamy but it's gonna be saucy right so get ourselves a nice bowl I'm liking these square white ones lately right in with pasil I don't know why I'm talking French when I'm cooking an Italian dish in England. Oh, there is one more ingredient. Chili flakes. Yeah, chili flakes. Put some chili flakes in there. Um, I suppose you can skip the chili flakes or swap them out for like dried anchos, dried, dried bird's eyes, whatever your favorite type of chili is. Last but not least, I don't know if there's any seeds in this, but just be on the safe side. Nice. Quarter of a lemon's worth of lemon juice. John Favreau in Chef plates this with a fork, but you can get quite a good There you go. Pretty much done in real time, quick as anything, quick, easy. I mean that took us what 20 minutes? The amount of time it takes to Boil some more uh, pasta water. Yeah. Rubbish from other other. I sliced it, use a crush, use crushed garlic. Um, use fresh garlic though. Um, maybe get away with garlic paste, but not the stuff in the jar that sits in vinegar in the fridge. That stuff's crap. Garlic uh, granules and garlic powder have their place. This is not it. Use fresh garlic, fresh parsley. Um, but other than that, rubbish from other other. Bosh. Pasta aglio e olio. Right, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a few other quick and easy pasta dishes, maybe some quick and easy rice dishes. Um, I'm going to do some equipment stuff coming up as well. I've got loads of ideas. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you want to get alerts. What's the thing? Is there, so, 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 uh, yeah, so subscribe if you want to see what else I've got coming up. Hit the alert button as well. Apparently, that's a thing. Didn't know. Give this a like. Give it a share, that'll help me out. Um, follow us on Instagram as well, because I post all this sort of stuff on there as well, daily. Well, not daily, but I'm annoying, at least. Um, yeah, and I'll see you when I see you. Be good, can't be good, be lucky.